Hi, everybody. My name is Sarah, Pearls of Wisdom and Food with Keto. Under 20 every day, except Sunday. And on Sunday, it's 21 carbs because I have lots of veggies from the big green egg. So what am I having today? Oh, my. I just got done working my three overnights. And so I came home and um, I have spent the last three hours prepping food and making my salad and getting everything ready um, so I can go on with my day. I'm going to the rec center and um, I will do my 45 minute fast walk. And then I'm going to come home and um, have a bath and get ready to go for my annual physical where we will be discussing things like my um, osteoporosis with my um, with my gynecologist. He's the one that does the bone density and stuff. And he is chronically, every year he pushes the meds and every year I refuse. So I wanna just get her take on it. And if she pressures me about my high cholesterol total, but not the wonderful numbers below it, <clears throat> Then I will ask for an M NMR, I'm, but I might anyway, hoping that they're all those small, they're all the light and fluffy big ones. What is that, pattern A or pattern B? Um, it, somebody like me with a little bit of knowledge could be dangerous. So, um, yeah, so I'm kind of excited, and I booked my hair appointment for a week from now, so I will be getting that, and it's just, it's been a great morning. It's been a get her done morning. So, I just wanted to ugh, show you my big A salad. And that's what it is. This is um, feta cheese, whole 365 feta cheese from Whole Foods. And um, I buy it by the pound. So in here, you can see, this is why I always talk about how it should have fruit in it on a cherry wood coffee table. This has 70 grams of or organic romaine, 40 grams of watercress, 40 grams of uh, organic baby arugula from Olivia's, and 40 grams of baby spinach organic from Olivia as well. So that's that with the one tablespoon, excuse me, one ounce of the feta cheese. And 20 grams of roasted asparagus, no, two roasted asparagus spears, 20 grams of red cabbage chopped up in it, and 20 grams of organic celery chopped up in it. And then, while the, I like my salads um, room temp, so I will take that out before I go to the doctor's, so it's getting to room temp. And then this is three ounces of Corando ham that I've chopped up and it is a, a, a slice and a half of bacon chopped up. And I will cook that low and slow in the toaster oven and that will go on top of my big A salad. And this is my, it's my jumbo egg. It fell out of the fridge when I was getting it just now. It's a hard boiled, Pete and Jerry organic egg. And I will chop that up on the top of my salad as well. And then between the two of these, this is macadamia nut oil. And this is um, Pompeian organic extra virgin olive oil, Evu. I will put three tablespoons, not of each. <laughs> Wouldn't that be good? Be a soup. Um, between the two of them. So a table and a half, tablespoon and a half of each on top of the salad. And that is my one meal a day. Omet on. On my keto under 20 food plan. And I use the chronometer. And as you can see, I put everything in. I put my weight in. I put every sniggly little thing. And so, my, my macros show up there. 
um, I'm having 1,437 calories. For protein, I'm having um, 39 grams. So I'm having 106% um, because it says I'm supposed to have 37 grams. Carbs are 14.9 out of 20. Total, total carbs, not net, net, net. And the fat is 124.3 and I'm allowed 132. So that's how I roll. Yes, I track, I measure, and it's because it's because what I it's what I know for starters. And then to somebody that um gave me a little lecture about how um you know how I do my weighing and measuring, it's because I'm a food addict. And so I never tell you to weigh and measure. I strongly suggest it for those that are getting a little wonky and need to have that structure and discipline just come in a little bit. It's a suggestion. It's not telling you, if you don't do it my way, you won't succeed. Nothing could be further from the truth. So, so I'm not sure if that person just watched me for the first time, but I'm very encouraging of whatever anybody does and has successes. It's when they say to me in their comments that I'm struggling or I did struggle or I don't know how to do this or whatever, whatever, what have you. And when I keto coach people, that is part of the deal, the weighing and measuring and then being able to send me a snapshot of what they're having and we tweak and we have fun and we go on from there. And when they call for keto coaching one-on-one -on -one with the phone, it's just to talk about their keto program and to throw in some, I'm seeing that maybe you could dash, 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 dash. So this is how I do it. This is what works for me. I'm a 67 year old woman. The person that um, admonished me was um, a male. So um, have at however way you do it and it works for you, I'm really glad. And I want nothing more than your success in your version of doing it. But please don't admonish me because it's what I work, what I work for. And I've gotten to maintenance. And so to me that says, this is how you got there. Don't forget where you came from, girly, and weigh and measure your food. Have it in the fridge. And as I did today, I'm sharing with you what I've done. And so that's just, that's just what works. Um, and, you know, my keto, once I've done that, and if any of you, like, started to structure yourself and get the discipline of putting your food in a tracker, weighing and measuring it, and you were resistant before, you know, tell me. Tell me, did your, did your day get easier knowing it's all over there and all you have to do, like for me, when I came home from my overnight job, I pulled up. I pulled up the chronometer and I was able to put that great big bowl onto my kitchen scale and I weighed and measured how many grams was that? How many ounces was that? And I just got everything ready. And yes, that's why it did take as long as it did, but it's a salad. And so it does take a long time to put all that, gather all that stuff and put it all in. But you know what? It's worth it. I can't wait to have that big A salad. And I can't wait to get to my um, doctors and see how she rolls with the um, 430 total cholesterol, which I haven't given a thought to it. The, um, the osteoporosis drugs, I've given a lot of thought to, and I just don't want them. I've, I tried two oral ones before and they were, they were yucky. And I don't think my insurance takes Prolia. So what are you gonna do with me, doc? Hmm? <laughs> Now this doctor, this female um, doctor, she might be open to like knowing compounds that a pharmacist can make and things like that. And I just think that she's probably more willing to work with me about it than to just write a script. My GYN with all of the healthcare changes, it just seems like he just wants me to take a script and go away, you know? So we'll see how it happens. We'll see how it rolls today. You know, and I'm sure some of you have had some experience with a script writing person for osteoporosis or osteopenia. And I've fought it 
um, since 2004, he's, he's been pushing. And so I've been pushing back. <laughs> but hey, I love my keto. So who did I listen to tonight, last night on my overnight? Oh, I listened to Kelly Licious or uh, Lush, um, Keto Lusciousness. Am I saying it right, Amy? And I listened to Keto in the Chaos with Tammy. And I listened to a couple of people I've never listened to before. Um, and um, when they brought out the bars, I said, well, I won't be subscribing here because she was getting a little bit too gooey about these bars and how wonderful they are and the things that she does to them. And it's like, um, no, I won't be doing the bars, but good for her. She was very, very trim. And so her version of keto has worked for her. But um, to me, because of my addiction, it's a candy bar with a wig. And so I have to be very, very careful. But if it works for her, that's great. Um, and then um, Amy in the um, keto lusciousness, help me, help me, Amy, was giving um, new shout outs to people. And um, Nona Grace is already in my um, subscribed team. And then she gave Diamond BBW, I think. I think I'm already subscribed to her. And I have to go back and listen to the first few that she listed because I tried to find them on my own, trying to recall after doing an overnight. And that wasn't coming up. <laughs> so I have to go back and listen to it to see how those people are. And I know that a couple of us have um, uh, reached out to Natalie B. She's kind of disappeared. And that's too bad. The last time she commented to me, she was going to get, she's going to create her own mug. And um, nobody's seen a video from her for a while. So um, yeah. And um, I think that Keto and the Chaos, I think Tammy gave a shout out to Kelly. Um, Keto Kelly, G-I-S-T, getting her done. Um, and um, so I've already subscribed to her and I listen to every one of hers that comes out. And I love to watch her cook. So that's the deal here. I placed an order with um, Amazon yesterday for Celtic salt, the coarse grind. Um, you know, it's like kosher salt grind and it's refillable. So I added a pound of the kosher salt bag, two tins of Roland's macadamia nut oil. And I think there was something else, but now I can't remember it, but it came to $31. And so I ordered those things and they should be coming this week. So, um, yep, that's it. So I have a nice week planned filet mignon on um, Valentine's Day. And um, we're just exchanging cards this year. He did buy me a great big cookie that said, I love you. And I said, I love you too. Eat it, please. So he did. And um, yeah, so I'm not going to be keto anything for Valentine's Day. Dessert wise, it will just be a wonderful filet mignon and probably asparagus and probably some cauliflower crumbles and probably a semi big a salad to go along with the filet. And that's what I love. So everybody have a wonderful, wonderful day. When you listen to this, it's going to be, oh, it's going to be probably in March. And I'm talking about Valentine's Day that hasn't even happened. Maybe I will exchange that, maybe not. Anyway, this has been Sarah, Pearls of Wisdom and Food with Keto Under 20. And sometimes I use a lot of keto language, so keep listening and you'll find out what is what, like OMAD is one meal a day. And girly is a term that um, somebody gave me here because I was talking about um, gum. And I said, that's a, that's something, something about the gum, girly. And, um, and so, that person's called me girly ever since. And so sometimes when I'm, you know, giving myself talking to, it's like, that's it, girly. <laughs> but otherwise, you can call me Sarah. And I swear to God, I swear to God, in, in the, over the weekend following cars, I followed a car with a pickle sticker and I followed a car with a turtle sticker. Now all I need is the snowflake. Anyway, it's things in threes anyway. So 
Keep tuned, come back again, and you'll find out what pickles and snowflakes and turtles are. They're all part of this barnyard here. Thanks so much for watching. This has been Sarah, Pearls of Wisdom and Food, and enjoy your day. Happy Valentine's Day. That's what I'm going to make this one, Valentine's Day. Be good. I'll see you the next time. Bye-bye for now.